Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another one of those how-to videos and sharing with you my tips and tricks for applying lip color. And my tips and tricks today are gonna to be focused on two areas. One, how to make your lips look fuller and plumper without the need for lip fillers and lip injections. And two, how to keep your lip color from bleeding. Now, as we all age, our lips naturally get thinner and we start to see more lines develop. And many times people think that that's just the way it is and there's nothing that they can do about it without going to get some medical procedure. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a side-by-side -side picture of when I just applied lip liner and a lipstick, and then I'm gonna show you the side-by-side -side picture of what happens when you apply the tips that I'm gonna share with you today. The first step that I would recommend that you do, not necessarily every day, but several times a week, is to use a lip scrub on your lips to smooth out the texture, help your lips absorb moisture better. I've done a whole video on favorite lip scrubs and so I'm not gonna get into too much here, but I'll show you. I used the e.l.f. one today. This is the coconut flavor. And this one is just a stick with some sugar um, in there, gr sugar granules in there, and I just rubbed that all over my lips and then I just took a damp cloth and wiped all that off. So now my lips are feeling smoother, but the next step that I think is really important, and I do actually find these very helpful, is to use a lip plumper on your lips while you're putting the rest of your makeup on. Now, there is only one lip plumper that I personally find not painful and I think does a great job, and that's the Buxom full-on lip polishes or this is one of the lip creams. These to me are super comfortable. They're not that super painful lip plumper. Um, a couple that I find personally painful are one from Soap and Glory and the Too Faced Lip Injection. Those to me make your lips like feel like they're vibrating, if you know what I'm talking about. But this one I have found to be super comfortable, but I do find that if I leave this on my lips while I'm getting ready, um, it really just kind of helps further smooth out the lines and give them just a little extra fullness. So after letting that sit on my lips, I'm now going to remove that. And my lips still feel nice and cool and slightly moisturized. Now one more step before actually applying lip color is so important and I just discovered this. I have always had trouble with my lip liner, lipsticks, lip glosses bleeding. I have irregular lip lines. I have some fine lines that go down. I have larger pores around my lip lines. So I think all of those things contribute to very emollient lipsticks and lip glosses bleeding on me. Now I have found great help in using a really good lip liner first, but but if you have lips like mine, then you know that sometimes even the best lip liner isn't enough to provide a barrier <laughs> to keep some of those deeper, richer, really emollient lipsticks from bleeding. So I was desperate and was trying to figure out some way to solve this problem and I think I did. I've used concealers before, I've used foundations, I've used um, even eyeliner pencils, you know, the um, skin tone ones, and nothing has helped more than this MAC Paint Pot. MAC Paint Pots come in a variety of colors. There's a couple of skin tone colors. So um, I'm using Soft Ochre. You can see it has kind of a, more of a yellowish tone. There is Painterly, which if you have more pink tones to your skin, that would work. If you have darker skin tones, um, Groundwork, I believe, might work for you. That's more of a mid to deeper shade. So you want something, though, obviously, that's matte, that doesn't have any shimmer in it. So. I took this, and you can use your fingers, but I do like to use, a, this is just a synthetic brush from Sedona Lace. It's the 847. And I'm just going to tap into here, and I am going to place this all around the outside edge 
of my lips. And don't worry, you do kind of actually want some of it to get on your lips, and I'll show you why in a moment. But we are going to just place that all around the edge. And you don't want to take this all the way into your lips because you don't want to eat this, you know. But um, the one thing you are going to want to be careful about is anytime you're using a product on your eyes and your lips, you want to make sure that you don't do that if you're sick or you've had a cold because if you're using something on your lips when you've had a cold and then you put it in your eye area, it can cause issues. So just be careful about that. After letting that sit on my lips for about a minute to two minutes, it's no longer tacky and so it's had an opportunity to kind of set on the lips and now it's time for some color. So I am first starting off with a lip liner. Two of my favorite lip liners that are super long wearing and I feel like really set well on the lips are by Urban Decay and MAC Pro Long Wear, not their regular lip liners. Their regular lip liners totally bleed on me. So, but their Pro Long Wear ones absolutely set and dry down and last all day. But since doing this trick with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, I have found that all of my other more affordable options like my NYX lip pencils last almost just as long. So, I'm gonna use one of my NYX ones today. I'm using the NYX Suede Lip Liner and this is in the color Los Angeles. And this is a real nice kind of, um, let's see, let me show you here on my hand, um, a very plummy rose shade. Now the mistake that I did in my photo when I'm showing you with my thinner lips is I lined the top of my lip line on the inside we're gonna go on the outside. And because we put that paint pot down, we now can kind of recreate and redraw a new lip line. So I'm going to start in the outer corners and I'm going to work to the center and down. And then on the top, you're gonna to see me go from the corner up. And what that does is that helps create more of a fuller lip line. So let's do this. I actually brought the liner a little bit further in right here on the corners and then instead of doing a very harsh fine line on the edge I did a very thick line and that is for two reasons one it can help further shape your lip line but it can also keep you from getting that line that distinct lip liner line as your lipstick wears away now we're gonna go in with lipstick and I chose this shade from flower beauty it's called autumn rose it's a really beautiful mid-tone rosy I think autumn rose is a great description it's got some pink in it but it has a little bit of brown and I just I like this color because I think a lot of times people think you have to use a very pale more nude lip color in order for your lips to look fuller but I'm gonna show you that's not the case so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lipstick <music> And as you can see, I did not here on the corners of the lips, I did not pull the line beyond my corners. I just went up from there because I feel like sometimes if you go on the outside of the corners, that can really make it apparent that you overdrew your lips. So here we are with just our lipstick and our lip liner. And I will show you now a side-by-side -side comparison of that first 
picture. And now we're gonna further enhance our lips by putting a little bit of some gloss. I really think a glossy lip helps make your lips look even fuller. You saw me feature two in my nude lipsticks video. This, these are the lip glasses from MAC in Oyster Girl, Oyster Girl and Nymphette. I love those. Um, a couple others from Bare Minerals that I love. This one is 24 karat and it actually has gold sparkle in it. And this one is called Far Out and it has kind of a gold shift, no glitter particles, but just has a really nice subtle shimmer in there. And then for more of a pinky gold, um, more of a foiled kind of look, which I love, um, these two, this one's from Huda Beauty in the color Angelic. And then this is a drugstore option and this is from Lottie London and the shade is called Twist and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna use this today um, and just show you what happens when we put just a little bit of gloss on top. All right, so here are our finished lips. And hopefully you can see a big difference. And just by adding that gloss, it did lighten it a little bit, but um, I think it also just adds that little bit of shine and catches the light. And now because of the base that we used around the edge of my lips, I know that I am not going to have problems with it bleeding past my lip line throughout the day. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.